All right, guys, I have been sitting at my desk all day. I am stiff. And I usually do yoga and meditation first thing in the morning, but I didn't get the chance to today because I jumped right into administrative work that I needed to get done on the computer. So it's lunchtime for me, 1240. So I thought I would knock out a quick yoga routine and invite you to join me. So I've got my little Spotify playlist. I do not own the rights to any of this music. It's a random playlist on Spotify. I lit my candles, I'm in my loft, so now I'm going to try to relax with a little bit of movement. So if you're here to join me, by all means, please roll out your mat and do so. I'm just going to inhale, arms up, and just kind of stretch side to side. This is not planned. I'm just kind of going with whatever feels good, lean over to the right. Lean over to the left, inhale, exhale, here comes my dog, and one more time, hold it here, just stretch the body, feel the feet ground into the mat, lean over to the right, inhale, come up, and exhale, lean over to the left, inhale, come up. Roll the shoulders back as you bring the arms down. Uh, now we're going to repeat that. Open up my stance just a little bit more to give myself a little more mobility. I'm just going to swing the arms up and down. Again, just to kind of shake out any tension, I'll do three. Two <laughs> and one. Knees are cracking. Back is cracking. Uh, take a big breath in here. And then exhale, come into a squat. So a nice wide sumo stance. You can bring your palms together. And then you can kind of stay here or kind of adjust if you need to and come all the way down into goddess pose. Oh, feeling like a goddess here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let your tailbone just sink down towards the floor. Oh, and here's my husband. I hope he doesn't make too much noise. So breathe in and breathe out. Feeling your hips open up. Breathe in and breathe out. Elongating your spine. Make sure that you tuck your chin down towards the chest just a little bit so as not to hyperextend the neck. I'm just sitting here and breathing into this space, allowing your body to fall wherever it wants to fall. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring your hands to the floor, bring your hips up, and then hold this here. So hanging in a forward fold. So nice wide stance, forward fold. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs, your hamstrings. You might feel it in your inner thighs. Again, elongate the spine by letting gravity do the work here for you. Pulling the weight of your head down towards the floor. Creating space in between every single vertebrae. Releasing any pressure in your back. Now we're going to go into a flat back pose here so you can bring your hands to the floor right in front of you and then inhale lift your chin and your chest keeping your hands on the floor. So you want to squeeze your abs in nice and tight. The entire core is engaged. There's a slight bend in the knees. Take your gaze up just slightly and then exhale fold down again. Let's do this again. Inhale flat back. 
squeeze the belly, and then exhale, release and fold forward. And one more time, inhale, flat back. Pull the belly in tight so as to protect the lower spine. Exhale, fold forward. And then inhale again. And this time, exhale, lean over to one side, right or left, and go into a side lunge. And if you can't come down this low, that's fine. Just take it as far as is comfortable for you. You can keep the hand on the thigh. But my legs are tight, so I'm going to go ahead and take it really low here. You can flex the foot or point through the toe. Either way. Feeling a good stretch in that inner thigh all along the hip. Notice how you feel a difference when you flex your foot versus when you point your toes. So you can kind of play around with that a little bit. And just notice where you feel the pull. Go ahead and place your hands on the floor, come up, and then pivot over to a nice low lunge. Hold it here. Again, breathing into the space. And then place the hands flat on the floor, bring that front foot back, and come into a downward dog. Hold it here. kind of lift through the heels. Take your gaze up to the front of the mat and you can gently walk or jump those feet to the front. Let the head and neck go and inhale, arms all the way up, press the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Relax, face the front again. So we're going to repeat that on the other side. Uh, so just kind of adjust and loosen up the hips. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend through the knees. Come all the way down into like a nice squat. You can keep your hands on the thighs or bring the fingertips to the floor. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down again. Hands to the thighs or fingertips to the floor. And just repeat this motion. a good stretch. Let's do it one more time. And then bring the hands together. Exhale. Come into your squat. Now you can sit into that goddess pose like we did the first time. Or you can stay here. Bring your forearms or your elbows to your inner thighs. And sit in this nice wide squat and just kind of shift side to side. Again, just opening up the hips. Strengthening those leg muscles. Stretching out the lower back. Bring your hands to the floor. Bring your hips up, and we are in a wide forward fold. And let's give ourselves a little twist and rotation here. So staying in this forward fold, come into your flat back. Now let's go ahead and place either the right or the left palm on the floor. Another option is to place your fist on the floor. If you have a yoga block, you can use a yoga block here. But then you're going to take the opposite arm, keeping the hips still so that the hips are facing the floor. You're going to bring that opposite arm up towards the ceiling. And then just hold this twist. Try to take your gaze up to the ceiling if you can, while keeping your hips aligned with each other. And then gently come back down to center and we'll switch. So either palm on the floor, fingertips to the floor, or you can ball your hand up into a loose little fist and then let the other arm come up and go into your rotation. And then gently come back down. Let the head and neck go here. Bring your hands to the floor. 
and then shift over to that other side for that side lunge. Remember, you can keep it here if this feels good, or you can take it all the way down, wherever feels good for you. Breathing into the pose. You can play around with your foot. So you can point through the toe. You can flex the foot. You'll feel that stretch in your hip, in your inner thigh. You might even feel the stretch going all the way from your inner thigh down through your calf, especially if that foot is flexed. Breathing in here, breathing out. Now gently come up and pivot over to the side or to the front of your mat, and then come into that low lunge. Kind of hold it here, breathe in, breathe out. And then place your hands flat on the floor, step back into a downward dog, hold it here, Really dig your heels into the mat. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Tuck your tailbone underneath. Let's go ahead and do just a little core work here. Stretch through the legs. So bring that front foot and lift it straight up. You can open through the hip. On the exhalation, bring that knee into the chest as you come into a plank. Give everything a good squeeze here. And then lift back up, open through the hip. Repeat that. Reach it out. One more time. Reach it out. Now this time bring that knee in, but bring it out to the side so that the knee touches the elbow. And then press it back. Now bring that foot forward. We're going to go into a uh, pigeon pose. So you're going to bring that knee to the mat and let the hip rest on the floor. And then just sit here and really open up that outer hip. Again, just allowing yourself to sit here. Take up space here, breathing. And again, you can play around with this pose. So you can stay lifted, or if it feels good to walk your hands out, and really get a good stretch in that outer hip. I did some squats yesterday, so this feels really good. You can keep that back foot resting on the floor or you can flex the foot. Again, play around with these poses and find the spot that feels good for you and your body. You can bring your elbows to the mat. Gently lift, walk the hands back. We're going to tuck the toes underneath behind us. Lift the hips and step back into our downward dog. Tread through the feet here. Take your gaze up to the front of the mat. Walk or jump forward. We're going to do a sun salutation just to kind of get some circulation going. Inhale, arms all the way up. Press the palms together. Exhale, swan dive. Come all the way to the floor. Let the head and neck go. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk or jump it into your plank or your chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Now take that back leg, lift it straight up. You can open the hips here, breathing. On the exhalation, bring that knee forward. Squeezing everything nice and tight. Reach it back. Again, bring it forward. 
reach it back, and again, reach it back, one more time, bring that knee out to the elbow, squeezing more of the obliques, and reach it back, then bring that knee forward, and sit into the hips, <laughs> and enjoy this pose here. Oh, this is a delicious pose for the hips. You can stay here or walk the hands out. And then you can bring those elbows to the mat if it feels good. Again, this is just a nice little lunchtime routine. <laughs> A quick pick me up, especially if you work from home. In the warmer months, it's nice to go for a little walk on your lunch break, but it's January and there's snow outside. I think it's like 24 degrees with a with a 13 degree wind chill. So I don't want to go out there. <laughs> so we're just gonna stay here. Stretch out the muscles. When you're ready, if it feels right, go ahead and shift forward. Ah, facing me. Where are we on time? Oh, okay. So just relax here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe here for just a few seconds. Breathing into the diaphragm, letting the whole belly inflate with every inhale, and then exhale, relax. Let your hands fall down to your sides or your thighs, and then bring the right ear over to the right shoulder. Breathe in here. On the exhalation, take the opposite arm and press it down and away from you. Flexing at the wrist. Take your chin down towards the chest. Relax the hand. Lift. Inhale, arms overhead. Press the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, relax the hands on your thighs or your sides. Take a big breath in here. And then exhale, let the ear fall over to the opposite shoulder. Take the opposite arm, flexing at the wrist, and push down and away from you. Make sure your jaw is relaxed. Relax the fingers, relax the hand. Gently bring that chin down toward the chest. Lift, roll the shoulders back three times. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, over. And then gently come up and switch. Bring both arms overhead. Exhale, relax. Roll the shoulders. I'm going to turn this music down. Now bring the soles of the feet together and then just kind of lean forward, trying to keep the back straight. All right. It's been 20 minutes. My intention was to make like a quick 10 minute. <laughs> yoga sequence just for myself like I said to just kind of move kind of shake out some of the stiffness but moving felt so good I thought I would go ahead and just keep moving <laughs> go ahead and sit like a frog so nothing
nothing fancy here. We're just sitting on our heels and then push your weight back. Again, press your heels into the floor, get a good calf stretch. So this can be like a seated calf stretch. Again, just kind of relax through your hips. When you're ready, keep your hands on the floor. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling so we're in a forward fold here. You can stay here with your hands on the floor or you can interlock the fingers back behind you and then bring those arms up and over. Keep a slight bend in the knees. And let everything go here. Relax the arms down, and then gently squeezing your belly button in nice and tight, squeezing your glutes. We're going to round it up one vertebrae at a time. You can walk your hands up your thighs, letting the shoulders, the neck, and the head come up last. And just kind of let your, your blood just kind of balance again. And inhale, arms overhead. Press the palms together one last time. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bow forward, ceiling, the practice. And that's it. We're done. A nice little lunchtime movement because I can't go outside. Well, I can. I just don't want to because it's too cold. And I don't like the cold. So have a great day, guys. If you have any questions about anything, any of the programs that I have online or um questions about any of the poses that we did, reach out, um, like the video, share it, and, uh, and let me know what you think. All right, bye.